Welcome, students, to today's lecture on thyroid and neck ultrasound. In this session, we will explore the anatomy, indications, techniques, interpretation, and various pathologies associated with this imaging modality. Let's begin by understanding the anatomy of the thyroid gland and the surrounding neck structures. To successfully interpret thyroid ultrasound, it is vital to have a solid understanding of the intricate anatomy of the thyroid gland and its adjacent structures. The thyroid gland is an endocrine organ situated in the anterior neck, positioned below the Adam's apple. It comprises two lobes that are connected by an isthmus and is located superficially to the trachea. Adjacent to the thyroid gland, several significant structures exist, including the trachea, esophagus, carotid arteries, jugular veins, and lymph nodes. Having knowledge of the spatial relationships between these structures is crucial for correctly interpreting ultrasound findings and avoiding diagnostic errors. Thyroid and neck ultrasounds serve various diagnostic purposes. Indications for ordering these ultrasound exams include, but are not limited to, the evaluation of thyroid nodules, thyroid cancer staging, assessment of thyroiditis and autoimmune disorders, assessment of vascularization using Doppler ultrasound, and guidance for fine needle aspiration biopsy. Other indications may include monitoring tumor recurrence, evaluating neck masses, investigating thyroid abnormalities in patients with hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, or assessing congenital abnormalities of the thyroid gland. Before delving into the technique and positioning of the ultrasound exams for the thyroid and neck, it is essential to familiarize ourselves with ultrasound machine operation and settings. Ultrasound machines consist of a console, transducer, monitor, and various control panels. Operators must select appropriate transducers, adjust depth settings, optimize gain and time gain compensation, adjust frequency and focus settings, and select the appropriate imaging mode, B mode, M mode, Doppler, etc. During the thyroid and neck ultrasound exams, patients should be in a supine position with a slightly hyperextended neck. Gel is applied for better transducer skin coupling. High frequency transducers are used to assess the thyroid and a systematic examination is done to evaluate the lobes, isthmus, and surrounding structures. Understanding the normal ultrasound appearance of the thyroid gland and surrounding neck structures is vital for identifying abnormalities accurately. The normal thyroid gland appears homogeneous, with a grainy echo texture in B-mode ultrasound. It presents as an ovoid or butterfly-shaped structure with a smooth capsule. The isthmus measures approximately 4 to 6 mm in thickness, and the thyroid lobes exhibit symmetrical echogenicity. Adjacent neck structures, such as the trachea, carotid arteries, and jugular veins, should be evaluated for any signs of compression or invasion. When interpreting thyroid and neck ultrasound findings, clinical correlation and an integrated approach are essential. The radiologist factors in the patient's age, gender, medical history, and clinical presentation to arrive at an accurate interpretation. Various findings, such as nodules, lymphadenopathy, blood flow patterns, echogenicity alterations, or structural abnormalities, play a crucial role in the overall interpretation process. Thorough documentation of findings, location, size, shape, margins, echogenicity, and presence of calcifications is essential for clear and precise reporting. Thyroid nodules are commonly encountered during ultrasound examinations. Many of these nodules tend to be benign, and recognizing their ultrasound characteristics aids in accurate diagnosis and follow-up. Benign nodules may exhibit regular margins, isoechoic or hypoechoic echogenicity, and microcalcifications. Common benign nodules, such as colloid nodules and follicular adenomas, often have well-defined borders and a smooth outer contour. These ultrasound characteristics contribute to their benign nature and support conservative management strategies. While many nodules may appear benign on ultrasound, it's crucial to discern potential malignant thyroid lesions accurately. Certain features raise suspicion for malignancy, such as irregular margins, taller than wide shape, hypervascularity, microcalcifications, hypoechoic echogenicity, and associated lymphadenopathy. Evaluating these characteristics alongside clinical factors guides the decision-making process, determining the need for further investigations or biopsy. Proper differentiation between benign and malignant nodules is essential for appropriate management and timely intervention when necessary. Thyroid cancer can present with various ultrasound appearances, depending on the histological subtype and disease stage. Common ultrasound findings in thyroid cancer include irregular margins, microcalcifications, hypoechoic or solid echo texture, intranodular vascularity, and associated cervical lymphadenopathy. Specific cancer variants, such as papillary thyroid carcinoma, follicular thyroid carcinoma, medullary thyroid carcinoma, and anaplastic thyroid carcinoma, exhibit distinct ultrasound features. 
Additionally, complications like extrathyroidal extension, invasion of adjacent structures, or metastatic lymph nodes can be identified through ultrasound evaluation. Ultrasound plays a significant role in assessing thyroiditis and autoimmune disorders affecting the thyroid gland. Common ultrasound findings in thyroiditis include diffuse glandular enlargement, heterogeneous echotexture, hypervascularity, and the presence of focal or diffuse areas of decreased echogenicity. Autoimmune thyroid disorders, such as Graves' disease and Hashimoto's thyroiditis, exhibit specific ultrasound features. Recognition of these findings aids in establishing accurate diagnoses, guiding appropriate management plans, and monitoring disease progression or treatment response. Doppler ultrasound enables the assessment of thyroid vascularization, offering valuable information in various thyroid disorders. High velocity flow, increased vascularity, and turbulent flow patterns are suggestive of neovascularization, commonly seen in malignant nodules. On the other hand, autoimmune thyroiditis often presents with low velocity flow or absent blood flow within the inflamed thyroid, indicating reduced vascularity. Analyzing the Doppler waveform patterns, resistive indices, and calculating vascular indices helps evaluate thyroid disease severity and aids in treatment planning. Ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration biopsy, FNAB, is an essential tool in the evaluation of thyroid nodules and suspicious lymph nodes. This minimally invasive procedure involves inserting a thin needle into the target lesion to obtain cellular material for cytological analysis. Ultrasound guidance ensures accurate needle placement, minimizing the risk of complications. Complications of FNAB may include pain, bleeding, hematoma formation, infection, or inadvertent damage to nearby structures. Radiologists need to be aware of these potential complications and implement appropriate precautions during the procedure. Thyroid and neck ultrasound is essential for accurate diagnosis and patient management. Radiologists play a crucial role in providing comprehensive reports by integrating clinical information, ultrasound findings, and an evidence-based approach.